NASA has released the first images taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. The pictures are unlike anything we've ever seen before. Images of a new star-forming region showcase what looks like a cosmic mountain of stars that's seven light years high. There's new, clearer photos of a dying star 2,500 light years away and the ring of dust that it's been sending out for thousands of years. Plus, there are never before seen details of a cluster of galaxies known as Stefan's Quintet. Anna Friebel joins us now for more on all this. She's an astronomer and professor of physics at MIT. Anna, welcome. These are pretty uh, incredible images. I mean, especially for us. We, yeah. we aren't scientists. We aren't astronomers. Do you, is your reaction similar? Are you as astounded by these images as we are? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not just an astronomer. I'm also a person who loves looking up to the sky to see the stars. And it's such a wonderful um, a result, a technological achievement of this telescope that was shot into space. And it's, it's really quite far away from Earth, actually. It's not rotating around Earth, orbiting Earth. Um, that this all worked out and that we're getting these super sharp, super deep images that tell us so much more than what we, what we don't know. And um, this infrared telescope helps us specifically to learn about young stars and dust. Mm. And the images that are being shown there nicely highlight that because dust can penetrate through uh, the, the infrared telescope can penetrate through the dust layers and reveal what's hidden uh, to normal uh, telescopes views. You know, the detail as we look at these photos is just incredible, as Tanya said. Give us a bit more context on what exactly is in these photos and why it is that people who are accustomed to regularly mm -hmm. talking about the vastness of the universe and, and uh, just how breathtaking it is um, really are, are in a bit of awe, I, I would say. I think it's fair to say, watching and looking on to see what kind of images are being captured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The image that was released uh, by President Biden yesterday that contains a massive galaxy cluster in the middle. So massive, massive galaxies. And um, when you have a lot of mass, it does things to light, actually light that comes from behind the, uh, the galaxy on our way to us. It gets bent around the cluster. So in that image, you have the big galaxies, the, what we call the lensing galaxies in the middle. And then you have kind of war images of various or many, many little warped images around it that almost look like a ring altogether. That is objects, these are from objects that are behind these wow. big galaxies. Mm. And so we are seeing kind of, we can look around this galaxy cluster and see what's, what's behind it. And um, that's absolutely fantastic. But if you zoom in, you can also see lots of little white dots around these massive galaxies. These are massive star clusters, millions of stars clumped together in really small space. And they accompany all galaxies. So seeing these very, very distant galaxies, billions of light years away to also have star clusters, um, it, it's just marvelous. And really yeah. every little speck in this this image is, is a galaxy, except for the stars with the spikes that they are close by in our Milky Way. Just, you can always recognize stars this way. <laughs> makes us realize how insignificant we are. But, you know, it, that helped to explain sort of how these images were captured through this infrared technology, right? Because you think of a picture being taken, you need light to yeah. capture an image, right? And there's no way you can get light that far right. away so, you know, so quickly. How do you think all of this is going to change the way we look and study space what will this teach us about space, Anna? So the, the, the Webb telescope has been designed to look very far back into the past um, because of this infrared design. And um, the, my colleagues and I, we will be able to study the earliest star forming events, perhaps even the remnants of the first stars that emerged after the Big Bang and wow. how galaxies formed and evolved. Um, it's very, incredible. very exciting. To think you could go back that <laughs> far. Know. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Anna, Anna Friebel, thank you so much. We're as excited about it as you are. We, we love science yes. here. <laughs> Space is just one yeah. of those uh, endless kind of uh, endlessly fascinating topics. Absolutely. Anna, thanks very much. <laughs> thanks.